YouTube, Jared Hoyt uh, from One Shot Tactics here. And today I'm going to show you my tennis ball shooter. <coughs> we got just standard plumbing pipe right here. Uh, this is a two and a half inch pipe right here. And I'm not sure how big this pipe is. Not sure how big this pipe is, but uh, this is the chamber. What we did was we bought a conversion piece and bolted it on there so that way it wouldn't blow off from it blasting. But this is a pretty well put together modified uh, tennis ball shooter. You just take your standard size tennis ball, which is exactly, it will fit exactly in here. Can't, it won't be no bigger, it won't be big, no smaller, it'll fit exactly in there. And then you got, <clears throat> what you can do with this is just drill a hole in the back of it right here and then spray fluid in there and light it. But what we did is we took a, a lighter from a grill, it's got this button right here, and we popped the two wires out from the bottom right here and put uh, plastic over so I had uh, one second. And <clears throat> you can put this plastic over to seal it, so that way you ain't got a bunch of air pushing out through the back of it because of all the force. But what it does is you just press the button, and those two wires right there conduct electricity from each other, and it makes a uh, spark. And uh, yeah, it ignites it really good, better than a lighter does. Ow! So if you can figure that out, just use that. And they say that the best type of thing to use for one of these is hairspray. I use Aquanet because they say it's got it works better for this type of stuff than just any regular hairspray. Um, yeah, and it's called Aquanet. And this is the loader. It's just a, I think probably about a two inch, two inch round. And you just on a, can you type? Can you see me fine? Okay. What you want to do? What you want to do is just put it right on the end of the ball. Just push down. It's kind of hard at first. We get kind of used to it, and with ours, it kind of just clicks down and where it can't go any further. Because we've got those screws in there, and it just stops it from going back all the way. And this is our chamber that we spray our hairspray in. You just spray it down in there right there. You can see the tennis ball at the end, I think. And uh, what you do, you got to do it kind of fast because you don't want all the uh, fluids and stuff escaping out of it. All the gases uh, escaping out of it. You kind of tilt it this, this way because you don't want it just spraying out air because then that won't do anything for you. And you just... Hold it down there, spray it in there for about five seconds. Get get the cap on there as quick as you possibly can. And you don't want to you don't want to overdo the hairspray, and you don't want to underdo it because if you overdo it, it won't ignite because there's not enough air and too much, just too much gas. Once you get that finally screwed on there, you got the igniter. And this is how you shoot it. You ready? And it's gone. I don't know where it went. It landed over there somewhere. <laughs> but it will, ours is about up in the air for about a good, probably. 10 seconds, which is pretty long for being up in the air for a tennis ball. But you know, you can shoot potatoes, anything you want out of the end of it. And uh, yeah, this is Jared Hoyt. See you guys later.